So all the Santas have different faces, some of them friendlier than others. This one looks a little bit cross. My name is Amanda Brooks, and I am a shop owner and a writer. I live in Oxfordshire, England, in the Cotswolds. The shop is very much inspired by the English countryside, and everything in it is somehow connected to the life that I live here. So Christmas in the shop starts in January. I work with very specific Eastern European vendors. Most of them are family-owned for generations and everything they do is incredible. I really love color for Christmas. I'm not a white lights person, as you can see. I'm a colored lights person and a color decoration person. I would source vintage ornaments, mostly from Poland. And I, when I discovered these, I was so excited because I felt like they looked like the vintage ones I've been buying, but you could buy quantities. I love these. There's, there's a rose on one side and a tulip on the other. One of my new discoveries was these artichokes and just beautiful colors, little lines of glitter around the edge. This tablecloth is very special to me because it was made by my friend Tara, who has a company called Zajora. She lives in Singapore and she makes everything in India, but she's a very old friend of mine. And the ruffle tablecloth has to be credited to David Netto. It was his idea. Livia Chetty makes these incredible green vase paper flowers that we use all year round in the shop. We always curate according to the season and my favorite one this year is the poinsettia. So the shop is kind of like a creative haven for me. I wouldn't have anything in the shop that I wouldn't have in my home. People always ask me how I survived the English winter. And I always say the fireplace replaces the sun because at 3.30 when the sun goes in, it's just very nice to come in and have the warmth and the light from the fire. What I love about this house is the architecture is so beautiful. The wood beams, the plaster walls. You could just take all of the decoration out and have it be something super minimal, very Axel Verbot. I get very tempted sometimes to just get rid of the clutter and just make it like the most beautiful empty space. The first time I came to Fairgreen Farm was in 1997. I had just turned 23. Uh, I've been dating Christopher maybe two or three weeks. Well, it was our holiday, but I was very shocked because Christopher spent the whole time on a tractor. And I was like, what am I meant to do? <laughs> so what I ended up doing was cooking. So I would just pick up a cookbook from the bookshelf and cook every recipe in it. This cane is very special. It belonged to my great-grandfather and it has his name on it. It says G.H. Cutter. So Cutter is my American maiden name and Brooks is my English married name. Well, there used to be two sofas going like that in front of the fireplace, so I just put the one uh, with the two chairs on either side and this back table. The raw plaster walls are what inspired me to use raw plaster on the walls in the shop. In contrast to the shop, the Christmas season in our house is slightly shorter, so I like to use lots of natural things, garlands specifically, um, and I try to use as many kind of local things as possible, like holly, uh, which grows on the farm, eucalyptus. My mom was the queen of Christmas, she really was. I mean, we used to have a 24-foot Christmas tree in our living room. Every year I bring home kind of the things that inspire me most from the shop for the tree, and so I was super into these birds, which my grandmother had when I was a child, and then my mother had them, and when I found these, I thought, wow, there's thousands of my favorite bird ornaments. And they, they have cherries at the bottom, or berries, and then one has a little wicker basket that's super cute. I started feeling like, oh god, I'm in the mood for tinsel, but then I thought of like the literal tinsel I had in the 80s, and I was like, no, that's too kitsch. <laughs> so when I saw this in Germany, I thought, wow, that's really incredible tinsel. It's half kitsch, half tasteful, and the fact that there's gold and silver I really like, because I love mixing gold and silver. 
So this backgammon table is probably my most coveted possession. It belonged to my parents in our house in the Adirondacks, and when they sold the house, they said we could each take something that was very meaningful to us. So I shipped this over from America. It just evokes so many memories of my childhood, playing with my grandfather, playing with my mother, playing with my kids. So it's really amazing that I can have it here in England. For me, Christmas is not about good taste. Christmas is about feeling happy. I'm really quite fond of this fox. I think he's very sweet. Someone actually bought him yesterday, so I'll have to send him off. Well, this room is a new color scheme for me because I'm usually very colorful, but inspired by the gold and silver Bertazzi table linens and the gold leaf Jujana ceramics, I decided to do a metallic and neutral color Christmas table this year. The chandeliers are from our uh, ornament decoration maker in Germany, and they're incredibly light and, and quite indestructible, actually. Um, and I just think it's so charming that this seems like a safe way to have lit candles in the house. The worst thing that happens, they fall on the table. It's not the end of the world. Christmas Eve dinner, we usually just have my mother-in-law and my kids and my husband, and it's a more intimate dinner, and it's lovely. So this little seating area is really inspired by my mother-in-law because she is 89 and I wanted to create a space where she could enjoy Christmas with us um, and enjoy the tree and be cozy and where we can, you know, kind of not feel so restricted during lockdown to celebrate with our family on the farm. Our red mushrooms are incredibly popular in the shop. Uh, every vendor that I buy from makes their own version of the red mushroom and often many versions. Um, so there are all different shapes and sizes and, and this is kind of my selection of all my favorite ones. I love the massive mushroom at the top. I've never seen a, a mushroom tree topper. It's incredibly special. I mean it sounds ridiculous but I'm sure other people um, that are creative can relate that just to be in like the perfect expression of your taste and style is very satisfying.